And I hope that this project will uh, give me a, a platform, an introduction um, to, to the world, basically. I think over the years of doing this, I went in a load of different directions because being in a studio, you can make anything you want. Tom was trying to find himself. When you're a creative, you don't want to box yourself in. You don't want to set up boundaries. You just want to find some way to express yourself. And I tried to help him unlock that potential. And he went away, and a couple of weeks later, he came to me and said, I got this song, which was American Man. I'm American Man. I got sandpaper hands every Friday And when we did American Man, everything came together. He really found his voice. He found his artistic voice. He found himself. I'm American man. Drink my beer from a can. It don't mean nothing to me. Even if you see through me. I'm American man. Yes, I am. Before American Man, I think, I think creatively I was kind of lost. I wasn't being true to who I am as an artist. I was able to say to myself, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And who are you doing it for? And ever since then, it's been a whirlwind because I've, I've found that voice and I've found the writing direction. So for me, American Man, the album is the progression of who I am as an artist. It's a personal statement like, this is my music. <laughs> Doesn't get better than a small town vibe. Light up the woods with a big bonfire. Smell a good gasoline burning at the sun. Where I'm from, you drink and dry. But I learned my lesson, now I smoke and fly. I'm a sucker for a cutie with a booty and a tie white t shirt. Looking like a daughter of a preacher. 911. What's your emergency? A little stuff with no pickup truck to pull me out of this mess. I love the record, I love the way it's coming out. Because you can write all kinds of songs. And that's, you know, in the beginning it was like, wow, this is great. Wow, that's great. All good stuff. But uh, he has refined what he wants to sound like in, in that time period. And that's very important. Here was a guy who had a great voice, wrote great songs, and knew what he was doing in a, in a recording studio. He'd come down here, what do you think of this, what do you think of that, let's play some drums, yada, 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 and we just started working together, and it was, it's a pleasure, you know, he knows what he's doing. I want the drums to be the reason why this song rocks. They're gonna be, they're not gonna be buried, the drums are gonna be like overmixed into everything. And then I think we should get the build, I mean, this is a build. The entire thing's a build, I know it's hard to hear with the music, but... After the release of American Man, we're going to uh, do radio and press, and that's kind of like what we've been rehearsing for right now. And it's going well. I think we got like three songs under our belt out of like 12. <laughs> no, it's going good. Maybe you could play some bass on it too. Yeah, I like that. I'm digging my bass player lately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we say that. <laughs> I'm excited to get it out there and then go meet the people that are going to spin it, you know? I'm excited to just shut this all down and be on the road and play. It's a different type of energy and a different type of mentality, so it's going to be a lot of fun. One of the hardest things, if you're going to be 
you know, playing out on a regular basis, is going to be getting used to the room, getting used to the sound. Right. So if you and your in ears get the exact same mix, you're going to know what to expect. You're not going to be stressed out about what your mix is going to be. No, I understand. Yeah. I had that, and then I sold all my gear because I was broke at the time. And needed the money. He takes all my great ideas and steals them and applies them to his music, and uh, and then takes credit for it. No nah, man, he's Tom. Tom is 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 uh, a long, long time friend. I've, I've seen his talent, and it's a beautiful thing to see how he kind of experimented with you know with some some more pop stuff and really kind of honed his teeth on on production techniques. There is an insane amount of producing creativity in in the way he puts the songs together, and now that he's kind of found his way, there is a a clear path in in what he's doing now. I wanted to make a killer album, and I'm happy with it. And uh, I mean, what more? What more can you ask if yourself personally? Also, the people behind it, because they want me to be myself and be an artist and make the music I want to do. It's truly music I make right here with a very tight knit group of people, to the hopes that yeah, it'll it'll do something. But really, we're just having fun making it. And then I'm lucky, you know.